The Sankofa Circle is an innovative, transformative art-based program that supports women who are healing and recovering from disempowering life experiences that may have diminished their sense of self or inhibited their ability to make conscious choices about how they show up in the world. We especially seek to provide services to women who are healing and recovering from childhood sexual abuse or family violence. Our goal was to provide these women whose spirits may have been impacted in this way with a safe and sacred space to explore creative and holistic practices for healing, to reclaim a greater sense of personal power, to increase self-awareness, and to reaffirm their ability to self-nurture. The Sankofa Circle concept actually started around the same time that I had began to do the work on my own with transformative art. Uh, as a person who had experienced childhood sexual trauma, I saw how powerful and potent and helpful and healing it was for me to move through those issues related to that experience in my life through the transformative art. And I'd done that, and but it was quite a few years later before I actually put it together in a more formal way for others. The core of the Sankofa Circle workshops is the hands-on art making project. And in the project, uh, which is connected to the specific topic that's covered that week, we work with clay, polymer clay, fiber, paper arts, collage, painting, uh, bead making, a wide variety of art making activities specifically designed to address that topic. Some of the topics that we cover are boundary setting, uh, how one speaks to oneself, rooting out the negative self-talk, creating a new dialogue with our body, and learning how to say no. Another component of the Sankofa Circle is self-defense training. We have a facilitator come in and provide a self-defense training as a way to support women in feeling physically more powerful because that translates over into feeling more powerful in other aspects of their life. The next step for the Sankofa Circle is facilitator training. It's critical and it's the key component. We are doing this program here locally in the Philadelphia area and having some wonderful results, but it's a very small area and this is an issue that affects one in three women and one in six men who have actually experienced childhood sexual abuse before the age of 18. So. The training of other individuals who wish to start Sankofa Circles in their own community is the next step. And we actually have started the process of writing the curriculum for that. Transformative art is any art making that's taken into um, with the express intention of facilitating some sort of healing or shift on a personal level. When individuals participate in a transformative art experience, they come in only knowing what the topic is and how they are sort of connected to this topic or what it is they want to shift in their lives around this topic. 
once they get there, a lot of the initial activity is discussion, interactive activities, whether that's um, individually or with a partner or as a whole group. And then we go into the art making. Now what happens without people even realizing it is that the preliminary discussion and activities that we have done actually have built up within them a conversation, which is the intention. So when they actually move over to the art table to make something, it's not directed. You get the materials. You are shown what you can use and how you can use it. But basically, you create from your point of reference at that point. Moving into the art making and utilizing the, uh, a variety of music in the background, most people find that whatever the conversation is that has been built up within them pours out onto the surface of whatever they're creating. And within that pouring out, they've just followed the, follow the energy, just follow whatever the creative process is taking you to. At the end of creating, we sit down and then they have a dialogue with whatever they created, the art piece. And from there, they allow the piece to speak as if it were giving them a message. And from that point is when they begin to collect and recognize and see what it is, this conversation that was inside of them that needed to be had is about. That's where the self-discovery comes in. And they're the only ones talking, you know, sharing and um, assessing what means what in terms of what they've created. So it's totally self-based and there's no judgment at all because they're doing it themselves. I think because there's no judgment, that allows it to be really authentic. That's the process to support what is already trying to come through you giving it a space to do that. That's what transformative art really does. Oftentimes participants comment that they find the work that they do in transformative art groups very therapeutic. And I have to remind them that even though they find it therapeutic, it's not therapy. In transformative art, the person who created the art work guides the process from beginning to end. There is no interpretation of the artwork by anyone else other than the person who created it. Because I believe that we all know our own language and symbology that's very personal to us based on whatever life experiences we have had and not easily quantified or judged or evaluated in some way as a sort of a general meaning to those symbols in that language. Art making is a wonderful tool um, because it opens up a doorway that we don't often get to move through in the course of our daily lives, particularly as adults. My life is dedicated to transformative art. I am a visual artist uh, by trade and by nature. But right now, my focus is really on spreading transformative art, the knowledge of transformative art, the healing that can happen through the use of transformative art, and training as many people as I can and touching as many people as I can with that knowledge to pass on and spread throughout the world. Sankofa is an Adinkra symbol referred to as the bird of passage. It means go back and fetch it, and it reflects the intention to help women reconnect with those aspects of their spirit that may have been diminished or lost through trauma or distress.